Hello everybody, welcome back and I am the Jornik and today ladies and gentlemen, we're going to review Pokemon episode number 17 of the X, Y, and Z series. Now ladies and gentlemen, this was a great and fantastic and epic and oh, it was beautiful. This whole episode was just beautiful. I loved the battle with Zapdos. That was my favorite part of this episode and there's a lot of like little things here and there that were also interesting and cool to see, um, but like most of it that I was hyped and like got really really excited about was the Zapdos battle and darn was it good um, exactly kind of like Moltres was um, you know Talonflame he doesn't really uh, do good against other birds I mean at least legendary birds he doesn't like you know you know I feel bad kind of for Talonflame but he he lost against Zapdos he was kind of shot out of the sky I mean he was kind of in it for a little while he was using his flame charge and his steel wing and like whatever he could use against Zapdos and he lasted a little while because he was able to dodge Zapdos' attacks. Um, but eventually, you know, he couldn't dodge it forever and Zapdos shot him down. Uh, but then Ash, you know, we called him back and then Halucha went over there and into battle and actually laid a hit on Zapdos. And then laid Zapdos out. I mean, he just smacked him. And Zapdos looked like he was, like, just knocked out. But then all of a sudden he got back up and he flew back up and he shot, uh... Halucha off the rock, little the mound thing with his thunder, and then Halucha started falling, and then you know of course Noibat was like no, because you know like Halucha is like Noivern, Noivern, Noibat's like like most loved friend, I guess you could say, like it, they have a really good relationship or whatever. So it, <laughs> so this is pretty kind of cool that it evolved to save. Halucha to save its um, closest friend, which was Halucha, and like it did, it evolved into Noivern, which everyone knew that this episode was all hyped about about that, which is pretty freaking epic how that turned out. And it, you know, he saved Halucha, and then he went into battle with Zapdos and won pretty much. Um, he knocked out Zapdos, and I thought that was awesome. Like Zapdos didn't like defeat all of Ash's Pokemon. Like Ash actually defeated. Now nah, I guess you can say Ash did, but his Pokemon did. They, they defeated Zapdos, um, but yes, I thought that was pretty darn sick, and then obviously Team Rocket tried to cap capture Zapdos, in which, you know, uh, Noivern stopped them, and then all of a sudden Zapdos calmed down, he was like, oh, okay, you're not the enemy, blah, 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 um, you know, Team Rocket was, um, so, like, then Noivern and Zapdos just kind of look at each other with this, I guess, assurance and respect, and, and you know, that they're friends now or that they understand each other blah 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 and then they flew off into the distance well not Noivern he flew off to the distance towards Ash but Zapdos flew off and towards the distance he cleared the skies and made it all sunny and then he flew off and then he later came back and did some little firework thing with his thunder shock um, during some festival or whatever but that was pretty darn sweet now earlier in this episode what I didn't understand though in a couple of different way like a couple of different things though in the beginning of this episode is like what happened to that one guy that was like injured in the very beginning of the episode like th th he apparently drove off a cliff and injured his leg we never saw him again I'm guessing that the person Ash was talking to in that building like towards the end of the episode was him like he finally got back to the village or something but like it didn't look like him from that angle like from that distance it didn't look like him um, either he changed clothes or like something happened but yeah it didn't look like him so I'm like what happened to him I didn't see him at the end of the episode and so that I'm like okay uh, <laughs> you're just there for no good reason I forgot to add, at, add that at the very end well that was kind of the confusing part maybe you guys could post it in the comment section below what do you guys think happened to him or is that actually him and I'm just being you know oblivious to it but anyway, then we had another moment where Brakeson just like, when Brakeson like comes out to light up the cave, Brakeson just like, which I thought was really cool, which I never seen, even saw before, but Brakeson like shot its stick out of its tail and like captured it. Like, yeah, it, like go back and watch it. That's actually like, I'm like, wait a minute. It shot it out of its tail and then it captured the flame in the hand and, so, and I'm like, I, th I thought that was pretty freaking sweet. I, I didn't, it was like, I had to go back and watch that. Um, to be able to catch it again, um, but that was pretty darn so a big. And now we also have Noivern at the very end, acting all cool, sitting up in a tree. But I mean, besides that little moment where we had, you know, certain Pokemon in the Ashes past, such as like Trico, where they try to act all cool after, you know, a big episode all about them. 
on this up in a tree. Um, but overall, this episode was darn near perfect. I mean, I, I'd say at least I, I, I give it a nine out of ten. I give it a nine out of ten. Obviously, it always could be better. Um, but it was a great episode. I loved it, and I cannot wait to see what Noivern can do in the future. Thanks, guys, for watching. I love you all. I love you. We can't wait to see you. Peace out.